Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I'm just checking into the collective energy here. I thought I'd share this reading with you. Um, this may not resonate with all of you though, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind, right? And thank you so much everyone for all of your support, the likes, the subscribes, comments. You guys, thank you so much. I love this Soul Tribe. You guys rock. All right, so um, you're about to get a brand new beginning. We've all been through judgment. Some people didn't make it. Some people did. I feel like um, you were faithful. You put in the effort. Um, the divine has seen how hurt and betrayed you've been. And I feel like you have come through it um, with flying colors here. You're held in very high regard. Um, you could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be a Cancer, Pisces. Um, maybe a Virgo energy here. Okay. But you're about to be blessed in a big way. Um, maybe you're getting like a lump sum of money. This could be a home purchase or a big ticket item purchase, right? Something like that. But this is, this is the mark of your new beginning in life. Okay. That's what this is. Um, and it's the divine's judgment call. I feel like things are kind of being balanced out for you here. And you're going to be um, starting a new passionate beginning, doing something that um, you love to do or um, something that you're very passionate about, right? Something that means a lot to you. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of people out here who are seeing you in this energy, seeing that you're very elusive, right? Um, high priestess energy, being pretty quiet, not really talking to anybody here. You're in hermit energy. Okay, so you just kind of want to be left alone. You've been very betrayed. Now you've got a lot of new options around you. People are going to be wanting to come towards you. And I feel like you're still possibly working on your healing or you're protecting this new future. Maybe not, not knowing how to trust anymore because of all that you've been through. I feel like you have been so backstabbed and betrayed. You know, you once would give... Um, anybody like you're like the benefit of the doubt right or um, you opened your heart freely to people you know you're very loving you come from a loving space but you've just been wronged so much I feel like too many things have been done to you people have done too much they've done the most to hurt you for no reason I feel like you know um, I'm probably the only reader out here who does this, but I, whenever I see the Queen of Swords, I feel like before the Queen of Swords, you were the Queen of Cups, who gave your love, the best love that people could ever find, your trust, right? You gave people your trust, the benefit of the doubt. And that's why you're in Queen of Swords energy is because people put a sword in your back for it. So now you don't know who you can trust. You may know that you have a lot of opportunities around you. A lot of new options are coming in for you. Um, there's, there's people who are going to want to come in and have this victory with you at your side. But um, you st I feel like you still have to heal from um, being you know, betrayed by people that you thought you could trust. Like Now it's almost like you don't know who you can trust, no matter how good they look. No matter how encouraged they are, you don't know who you can trust anymore. You know, you've just been put through too much, okay? And I feel like um, there's somebody here, there's a masculine energy that has really wronged you in the past. And I feel like they have possibly have even, like, tried to spread lies and um, dirt on your name, Okay. And um, now there's a lot of other people. I feel like each one of these wands is somebody else that they told some, somebody something about you nasty stuff, okay? They may have even been talking about things from your way, way past, you know? Um, and it's almost to the point where you're just like, I don't care. I don't want anybody. I don't want to deal with anybody right now. Like, now is not a good time for you um, to be extending your love right? Um, now is not a good time for anybody to approach you. You know, you feel very hurt here, whoever I'm talking to. 
So I feel like there's somebody who has definitely been spreading some trash talk or something about you behind your back. But now they, um, they're they feeling very burdened by this here, okay? Um, and I feel like there's people that are coming to talk to them about you. Um, there's a page of pentacles and a page of wands coming at, <laughs> coming at this person from both sides. This person's getting a lot of opinion shot at them because people are now realizing um, that, you know, you were very loving. You could be out here having a victory, too, in the public eye as well for people to see this. They, they, they know now that you're a high priestess. People know you're a high priestess now. They know you're intuitive. They know you gave the best love ever. And everything that this person said about you is now coming back on them. People are starting to approach them um, because you stand out as an earth angel. Very patient, very loving, very giving, very kind. You know, so now this person, um, yeah, look, people know the truth about you. So this is somebody that you could have even been married to in the past. And they've been spreading a lot of BS about you behind your back. I feel like you know this, though. You know it. And now you're realizing that all of these people who believed this ex, um, none of them are, were your true friends. None of, the, none of them were people who you could have trusted because they turned their back on you. They all betrayed you. Everybody who listened to the lies, everybody who, um, you know, betrayed you for somebody else, right? Believed this, this, this story that this ex was giving. It, but now these people are coming back on this ex and saying, what do you mean? You know, the collective um, was solid for us. The collective was dedicated and true and loyal. You look at what the collective is building, too. If this person was trying to tell people that you weren't nothing, you were always going to be nothing, guess what? You're in the Queen of Pentacles throne. You're having this beautiful new beginning. People can somehow see this. So you may be posting things on social media, but now I, I feel like, um, and these could be younger people, very immature they may want to come in. Look, we've got a wand here. We've got the page of wands. We've got a pentacle here. We got the page of pentacles. You know, but these are people who are under judgment. Okay, yeah, you're out in the public eye somehow. Um, and people are loving what you're doing. Okay, um, whatever intuitive message, like you've got, you're very intuitive. Whatever messages you're getting um, have been spot on. Okay, because you're an earth angel, you're a light worker here. Yeah, somebody knows they need to apologize for all of this. They're getting a lot of pressure from other people here to possibly to do the right thing. They're being questioned. Okay, you could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who's very, very jealous here who sees you in a whole new light from a whole new perspective. Yeah, they know they have to make things right. They need to tell the truth. They need to come out with it and clear your name. That's what, that's what this is all about. Your name is being cleared, but it's a process, you know? Somebody lies about you, talks smack about you, ruins your reputation. It takes time for everybody to realize the actual truth and then go back on, you know, go back against um, the one who is lying. And now the liar needs to speak the truth about this. You know, you have been majorly betrayed here with the three of swords and the sword you're holding that you had to pull out of your back yourself. Yeah, and I feel like... Um, it's just toxic. It, it was all done out of jealousy. It was all done out of spite. The attack on your name. And you know what? Honestly, all you did was try to love these people. You loved them. You trusted them. You were there for them. And they all turned their back on you. And none of them can come back in. Like, seriously, you're standing here like, I don't know who I can trust. I just want to be by myself. Like, it's really sad what they did to you. 
okay? And it could be a whole community of people. Yeah, see, you're moving on. You're choosing a new path. You, you may be very emotional about this. Yeah, but you know what? This is, I feel like you. the scales are being balanced for you. I'm feeling vindication here and justice for you. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Okay? But these are all people that, you know what? You realize already they didn't, they didn't love you the right way from the beginning. Otherwise, they wouldn't have turned their back on you. They wouldn't have believed the lies. They would have had faith in you, but they didn't. So I feel like you're letting those situations end here, and you're walking away from anybody who gave you fake love in the past. Yeah, you're just turning your back on people. You don't want to deal with it anymore. And you know what? They're going to have to, they're going to, have to boss up and um, learn their own lessons and heal on their own right? Um, you're not accepting anybody who isn't vibing at your level. Now people are seeing you as an empress, okay? No matter what this other person tried to spread about you, now they're all seeing you as an empress, a star, an earth angel. I just did a reading a, a, like an hour or so ago about total vindication. You, you guys may want to look at that reading because that's what this feels like. You know, it, it really does. It's just behind the scenes. You are getting your justice. You are. And, and a whole group of people are realizing just how stupid they were for believing the lies. And this masculine is being um, exposed in the community for just being toxic. Okay? And everyone is realizing here that you gave nothing but love. And you didn't deserve to be betrayed in the first place. You see what I'm saying? So now you have a chance to just take control of your own life. And I feel like that's what you're doing. There's that wand. It's in your hand now. Uh, I feel like you're taking your power back. You're taking control of your future. You're not going to let these people come back in because they, di they didn't deserve your love to begin with. Okay? Um, you could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I've got Libra out here, Taurus, Aries. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo. Sagittarius here with a Temperance Angel. Possibly Scorpio. And all of these haters, everybody um, that, that um, turned on you is under judgment. And they all know it. They all know it. And I feel like they just can't get back into your good graces. Yeah, you're leaving these people behind. Soulmate or no soulmate, you're done. Look at you completing a cycle. Look at this. All of this betrayal. There's, there could have been up to six people that you're leaving behind here because they stuck a sword in your back. Okay? You're not speaking to them anymore. You're guarding that heart. Um, you're cutting them out of your life like this is a pair of scissors. All right. These are all people that you respected and gave your love to in the past. And you're moving on into a new future. You're leveling up here. You're upgrading in your life. The divine holds you in high regard for everything that you've been through. Um, yeah, this is you completing cycles with a whole lot of people and moving on. They can't come back in and they all know it. They try If they try anything sneaky or put out any more lies, here's the lies, the sneakiness, the nasty plants, it's all coming back on them. All of it. And I feel like whoever spread the lies and, and uh, um, talked crap about you behind your back, they're being, they're, now everybody's turning their back on them. Okay? I'm telling you, everything is exposed. Yeah, look. And everybody's realizing here that they just put their wish fulfillment and emotional fulfillment, their ten of cups, somebody who would have loved them forever, they just put them out in the cold. That's you. This is what they did. All for you showing them your love. That's it. 
you know, the uh, probably, I don't know, a few months ago or something, um, I got a message from someone from my past, a friend from, from a particular group, and that person said, you know, I'll always have love in my heart for you. And I said, in return, um, what kind of love? The fake kind? And that was it. That was the end of that. Because they know. They all know. They all turn their back on you for no reason. And you're going to be out here succeeding on your own, single, holding your head up high. Right? Having this victory. Look at this. Having this victory. You could be a Leo, Virgo, Cancer. I'm telling you, and people are going to have to just watch. Watch as you move forward. You could be a, um, a business owner, entrepreneur, who is very abundant, very stable. This is you staying in your lane and not paying any attention anymore to these people and what they have to say about you and your life because it's none of their business. That's pretty much what this says. It's none of their Your business is none of their business. So yeah, they're they're done. You're done with these people. I feel like you no longer have to worry about being betrayed by them anymore. I don't think they can come back in. Uh, and the divine is already um, calling, uh, making a judgment call on this. Okay. Yeah, and you're having a major victory here. I feel like though you do need to do some healing collective, because in the future the divine wants you to be loved. And right now, it feels like you just don't want to deal with anybody, okay? You may have a hard time trusting because everybody that you cared for seems to have turned their back on you. It's really sad. I am so sorry. I feel like crying, you guys. I really do. You have been through so much betrayal. Like, I feel like at one point you felt this ten of swords, but now it's these people who have gone against you just for loving them. I feel so sad. You guys, I want to cry. I'm sorry I made somebody cry, but it's true, though. In time, I feel like you'll be able to trust people again. You just need to be around the right people who aren't going to turn on you Um for no reason. And and some of you are being led to a new location here. This could be, oh, totally, this could be a house move. Okay, a location change. This is a lot of forward movement, and you're upgrading. You know, determined to move past all of this and leave it all behind you. So just know, I mean, it, it is, it's horrible what you've been through, but, um, you're being vindicated behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, you are getting your justice. You are. Everybody's turning on whoever talks smack about you. And the ones who believed in that trash talk, um, they're going to be getting their karma too. Their karma is the fact that they no longer have you in their life. I mean, that is a big hit considering how much love you gave these people. All right. Yeah, they lost an earth angel out of their life. You, you know what that means. They go up against an earth angel. There's no protection for these people. So anyway, I'm really sorry you had to go through all of that. But it is going to get better. Look, a change is in the wind. It's coming. Yep, you're going to be in a place of peace. The divine is leading you there. And this is how people made you feel orphaned, alone, sad, wondering why, why? But now I feel like you need to sweep that energy out, right? And focus on your future because the, you're being led straight to the land of milk and honey. And I, I feel like wherever the divine is, is bringing you, this isn't going to happen again. You know, you're going to be, you're going to be um, living a peaceful life from this point on. You know, it's making you feel really sad. But it's your time now. It's your time for the new, new. And I told you, you've got a new soulmate connection. Friends and a lover coming in for you. 
okay? And it's going to change everything. So just stay focused. Focused on building your solid foundation. Focused on moving forward, right? Staying in your lane. You know, keep meditating, saying your thanks, your pleases and your thank yous, right? Be grateful. Um, you're very tapped in. Just allow the divine to lead you, okay? Um, and I feel like, it, you know, if you were wondering what was happening with your enemies, I feel like you're going to be shown. You're going to be shown this. Maybe in a meditative state. Um, yeah, because you know what? The divine is protecting you. They're just like, you know what? Just release it. Release all of the pain from the past and all of these people. Look at all of the love you had for these people. These are all little hearts. You're releasing a whole community, a whole group of people here. Could be friends, family, co-workers, exes, everybody. Anyone who wasn't there for you is not um, for you now. Okay? Yeah. Anyone who didn't support you in the past, they can't come with you where you're going now. And you know this. This is that deep knowing. All right? So get ready, collective. Look, you're about to get major blessings here and a house move. It's time to leave the scene. It's time to go away from these people. I feel like you made it to the finish line. You did. You made it to the finish line and you're about to be blessed and your life is about to change. The divine had to show you who really had your back and who didn't. Okay? And it was a process. And it hurts. But yeah, this is the, you're not looking back after this. You're not. And in behind the scenes, just know um, you are getting your justice. You are being vindicated. Okay? Anyway, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps and resonates.